My wife does not let me complain. My wife, when I come home from work, okay, when we walk in that house, my wife looks at me and if I'm like, oh babe, today was tough, she will knock me out. It ain't gonna happen. She's like, I hell no that you freaking was gone all day long, grinding your ass off is what you told me, and then you're gonna come in here and you're gonna bring leftovers? You're gonna bring shit here to this house? Dude, I'm not taking, I, I want special energy. I don't want leftovers. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. Today I want to talk about five things that men do to ruin their lives. Now, obviously I want you to understand this. Um, I'm 44 years old at the time that I'm making this right now. Man, dude, I have done a lot of things to almost ruin my life. Notice I said almost ruin my life. And I want to explain why I say almost. Well, until you die, right? Until you die, then you have another opportunity to change and to come back. Okay, I'm an overcomer, I'm, I'm an underdog. I've learned the greatest lessons in my life from literally almost ruining my life. Now I wanna tell you, if you're watching this right now, I'm gonna give you five things. And there's two rules that I have to business, okay? Rule number one, I always say, don't ever let anyone else know your business better than you, okay? So if you wanna win, whatever industry you're in, know it the best. And then rule number two is try to figure out how to kick your own ass every single day. Like, I want you to find the holes in yourself. And what I'm gonna ask you to do is during this video, as I'm gonna give you these five things, I want you to just do what winners do. I, I want you to look in the mirror. I want you to look at me while we talk about this video, while we talk about these five things. And I want you to just really reflect your, over yourself. I want you to take a, a self-assessment and think, do I have that problem? And if you do, I want you to fix it. I wanna tell you why. Because my goal is to build the greatest leaders on planet Earth. That's my goal with you. If you're watching this, by the way, if you're a girl and you're watching this, I mean, you could have the same problems. I would love for you to send this to your boyfriend, send this to your man, okay? And this will work for you as well. But I want you to know, I made this video for the men. Because as the leader of my home, my wife's very smart, she's an alpha, she's next to me everywhere I go. As the leader of my home, it is my job to break the bloodline in my family. It is my job to break generational curses. It is my job to lead the way. And as men in this world, there is a massive shortage of leadership in this world, in the community, in companies, and in the family. And so my goal with this is to totally take you to a whole nother level. Increase human excellence, have you raise your standards, and become the greatest leader on planet Earth. Let's get to the training. All right, so number one is gonna be choosing the wrong spouse. Now I want you to understand something, I'm 44, so I'm saying the word spouse. Maybe you watch this, you're 15, you're 18 years old, you're 25. Write this down, choosing the wrong partner. So choosing the wrong person to spend your time with is, is death. It's absolutely death. I need you to understand something. When I met my wife, I knew immediately she was the one. And I, and I know people, they say, well, how do you know immediately? Well, I want you to know something. My wife didn't really care about my past. And I love that about her. This is super important. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what a woman can do for a man. So when a man messes up, makes a mistake, isn't doing something right, and he looks over to his woman, his woman can do one of two things. She can cut his legs off, and she can tell him how everything that he's doing is all wrong. Okay, she, she can tell him that, hey, I can't believe this, I knew you were gonna do that, you always, you never are like this, or, or, or it's like you never will change. It's like she's reminding him of like who he used to be, right? Or, 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 and by the way, listen, I love being disciplined, okay? I, with my wife, like I love her guiding me, like Andy, this is right, this is wrong. But she also, she doesn't get historical with me. Like one of the things I love about my wife is that if I've made a mistake, the next time that I do something, I make a mistake, she doesn't bring up the past. She always say, hey Andy, I know what you're capable of. I know your potential. I, I, I know God made you to go through these certain things to make you a powerful, strong man to be able to help more people. I know that. I know that. He is doing his works in you in preparing you to become the person. You needed to go through this to become the person that you are now. And now you're gonna change the world. My wife has always spoke good into me. And I love that, and I wanna tell you, I, I see that the number one reason why people don't make it, especially for men, how they ruin their lives, is that you end up getting with somebody that if everything doesn't go just perfect, they will cut your legs off. My wife, I love her, when she married me, she goes, uh, I know your project. She's like, I know your project. She's like, but I'm willing to invest in this project because I know where this project's gonna go one day. And she's been with me as of this video right now, 18 years, 
as of July 4th, I'm making this July 2nd. We'll be together 18 years. That'll be our 18 years uh, wedding anniversary. I want you to think about something right now. We were in our 20s when we met. I knew that she was gonna stand by my side no matter what. I knew that she was gonna stand by my side forever. I knew it and I knew that every time I made a mistake, I would look at her. All I wanted my wife to ever say to me, and this is important, and men, you all know this, is I'm proud of you. I remember making a $50,000 check when I was younger and I would bring it home. She'd say, oh, good job, babe. You know, and I was like, okay, all right, that's cool. Like, you know, like my wife wanted me to become a better man more than she wanted me to ever make any amount of money. She knew making money was easy. She knew building me to be a strong man was the most important thing to her. She knew, she goes, one day, Andy, you're gonna change millions of lives. And I couldn't believe that at that point. She goes, I know, I know you are. And she's like, it's my job as your wife, I wanna be by your side, I wanna go through the journey with you. It's my job to be as your wife, by your side, to build you up to make the baddest ass Andy Elliott on planet Earth so that you can do God's work and change people's lives. So I just wanted to say, who you're with, to me, is one of the most important things ever, okay? This person, whoever they are, there's a couple things. Number one, you have to fight fair. Me and my wife, we get into a fight, after five minutes, we're on. It's over, we're on to the next. We don't, we don't keep conflict with each other, okay? We don't mark tabs of who was right, who was wrong. We just, we just talk about it and we move on. And you gotta be able to fight because you're gonna be that way when you're with someone. You have to be with somebody that you can fight with, okay? And you still love each other after the fight. Matter of fact, you love each other more. We fight for it, we stay pure. We're always, you know, we, we never, we don't flirt with other people. We, we know we're, we're super loving, we trust each other. We would never cheat on each other. I'd be executed before I'd ever cheat on my wife. Executed which means it's not an option, okay? And same with her. Fight fair, stay pure, never give up. We never will give up on each other. Never. You got, I, men, you have to be with someone if you're gonna spend your time with them that you know they'll never give up on you and someone you'll never give up on. It has to be that way because it's you and her against the world. That's the way it works, okay? I, I would say, lastly, just don't get historical. What does historical mean? If it's in the past, it's in the past, okay? So ladies, if you're watching this, if your guy makes a mistake, Here's the deal, either forgive him or don't. But if you forgive him and you believe he's gonna be a better man, you have to let him become a better man, okay? Like, I want you to know something. Um, I made some mistakes, almost went to jail back in like 2012, was hanging around the wrong people. She told me these were bad people. Obviously, I was an idiot, I didn't listen. They end up being bad people. Well, guess what my wife did? She goes, okay, now you learn your lesson. Now you learn that when your wife tells you something, I'm trying to protect you because I see value and I want you to be strong. Okay, I need, you, I need you to understand that my job is to protect you as my husband. And after that, guess what happened? She forgave me, we moved on. Later on in life, I made some more mistakes. You know what my wife didn't do? Was say, you know what, I knew that you didn't learn your lesson, I knew this, I, you know what she said? She goes, Andy, each time you get a little better, each time you're getting a little stronger, each time, I don't know why women, women mature super fast and men mature super slow. She's like, but, I know we're getting you closer to who you need to become. She always would say these things to me. So, one of the things that I see ruin people's lives is marrying the wrong person, okay? So I shared, me and my wife, a little bit on the inside of how we operate. And today, this man that you see, this one that runs a nine-figure business, has a beautiful three kids, wife, amazing uh, team. I have over 100 people in my company. This, this guy was built because my wife had the patience with me and she, she never stopped believing in me. And so I just, want, I just want to say that, man. If you're gonna give everything you have to one person, if you're gonna give it, make sure that you marry the right person. And if you do that, 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 that woman, she'll make sure that you become, it's your job too, but she'll make sure that you, even if you're a project, she, an, an underdog, whatever you call it, she'll make sure that you become who you need to become because she'll tell you the truth She'll push you hard. And my wife, she's a hot-blooded Mexican. So she don't hold her tongue. She literally will tell me, and she is very direct with me when I'm doing something wrong. And I know where her heart is, and I know what she wants from me. And I know what she wants me to become. So with that being said, number one, man, I know you got this one. And I took a little bit of time on that first one because I think that first one is so important. I put it first on purpose. So find the right person. It'll allow you to be successful. Find the wrong one. It'll ruin your life. All right, guys, so number two, we're gonna move quick here. This is gonna be strongholds, okay? Uh, we'll call them vices, right? What's a vice? A vice is porn. It's pornography. It's uh, alcohol. I'm not saying you can't drink, okay? I'm saying 
if you drink every night, that's a vice, okay? That's a, that's a stronghold. Uh, weed, if you go home and smoke weed every night, like that's a, that's a vice. Video games, like, okay, okay, so I want you to write this down. Vices, strongholds. Write down anything that fires endorphins, okay? These are things that are like fill rushes and addictions, right? So like a lot of men get addicted to pornography, right? Like real sex is amazing. This is pornography, it's fake sex. Okay, it doesn't exist, it's not real. And at the end of the day, it's one of those things that when you watch it, you feel shame and good at the same time. It's not good for you. And then when it's over, you realize like, fuck. You know, it's like, this is trash. Well, that's, that's what ruins men's lives. And then their marriage or their relationship with their girlfriend or whoever, I'm just giving an example, it ruins that because of this fake deal. Does that make sense? So you need to find things that break vices, okay? Now, the, the goal, the number two is strongholds. This ruins men's life. Alcohol, weed, pornography, video games. Those things will ruin your life. How I beat all these things is two things. Number one, I'm addicted to work. I love my work. I have a lot of purpose and meaning in my work. I love working. I think men should work all the days of their life. I think they should work very hard. You know, you don't have to work 15 hours a day. Work 10 hours a day, work your ass off, okay? That's gonna be number one, I work very hard. Number two, I really pay my, I'm gonna say I pay my rent in the gym. I work out very hard in the gym, every day. I have to, it's, it's a way, it's, it's, it's my mental medicine, it's my vitamins. I broke all my vices by going to the gym. All of them, every one of them. I, I, I work out so hard, I don't wanna do any of these things. And so anyways, I just wanna tell you guys, number two is gonna be strongholds and vices. Bad things like that will ruin your life. And if you have those vices, I just told you how to break them. Become a gym rat. Become literally a workout workaholic, okay? Take good care of your family, do all these things, okay? But you will love yourself when you invest in yourself and you wanna do any of this crap. Let's get on to number three. Okay, number three, guys, it's gonna be no core values, all right? So everybody write down standards on a piece of paper right now, real quick. So standards are things that you would die for, things that you live for, things that you stand for, okay? And I know a lot of people that they don't have any core values. And most people don't even go around because we're in such a just shitty era of like weak leadership and teach men that they need to have standards. What are standards? Standards are the things that you believe in, the things that you won't sacrifice and things that are non-negotiables, okay? Think about it, like what are standards to you? What are they? Write them down on a piece of paper. I have a 70,000 square foot facility in Scottsdale, Arizona. Every room, everywhere has our company core values. Everywhere you turn, there's those core values. It's Elliott Army core values. And that's the way we run. And everybody in our company believes in the same core value. So I would tell you, just do me a favor. A core value is something that you would die for. But let me give you an example of what a core value is. Take the initiative. If, if I see something, uh, take responsibility, okay? That, that's a core value. Make, make happy customers, that's a core value. If I see a piece of trash and my core value is take the initiative, right? If I see a piece of trash, should I wait on someone else to pick it up or should I pick it up? I pick it up, I don't care if I put it there or not. If I see a piece of trash, I'm picking it up. So my core value is take initiative. And by the way, when I saw it, right, also my core value is take responsibility. So like now I'm like, oh, I can't unsee it. So I take the initiative and I take responsibility at the same time. It's just a core value, okay? So number three, something that ruins men's lives is that they don't have any core values. So identify what yours are. And by the way, you guys can text me. If you wanna see my Elliott Army 3.0 core values, you guys can text me at 918-210-0254. I will send you a screenshot of my core values. Guys, come up with yours. I love you guys. Let's get on to number four. Okay guys, number four is gonna be men complain. Now this goes back to number one with the woman. I just want you to understand this. If you're, if you're with a woman, a good woman will not let you complain, period. My wife does not let me complain. My wife, when I come home from work, okay, when we walk in that house, my wife looks at me and if I'm like, oh babe, today was tough, she will knock me out. It ain't gonna happen. She's like, I hell no that you freaking was gone all day long, grinding your ass off is what you told me, and then you're gonna come in here and you're gonna bring leftovers? You're gonna bring shit here to this house? Dude, I'm not taking, I, I want special energy. 
I don't want leftovers, okay? When you come in this house, I expect for you to bring <laughs> the, the good stuff to us. Whose job, whose responsibility is it to bring home love to your family, to fire your family up, to motivate your family? That's your job, man. So at the end of the day, when you go home, you can't complain to your home. You gotta bring home the fire because that's your job. So think about it. Your woman, if you're with her, somebody strong, will not let you complain. But number two, men, why you don't complain, number one, it's unattractive. Okay, number two, nobody gives a shit anyways if you're gonna complain. How about we say, no one cares? Because no one cares if you complain. And number three, it's, it's ineffective. Tell me what value you would get out of it. You complain, good, now what? You feel better? You want me to give you a tissue? Okay, like we don't cry over spilled milk. That happened, good. Life's hard sometimes, let's move forward. Let, let, let's, move, let's move on, let's make it better. Let's find a solution. Guys, see the good in life. Remember this, I want you to understand this. There's this thing called perspective, okay? And everything that happens for you, not against you. Find the good in life. Every time something happens, I don't care what it is, I don't care how bad it is, I always say, there's gotta be some good in this. Most people, they walk into every day and they say, God, man, there's, they're always noticing what's wrong. I'm always noticing what's right. Like, just understand this, don't complain. If you're alive and you're watching this, you're lucky. You're alive in a very special generation. You're alive in a very special era. You live in a time right now where you don't, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to be like all these other people. Okay, you want to, you want to be a winner. You want to be a leader. Don't complain. Okay, guys, this ruins men's life. Never complain. And then number five, guys, this one right here wraps everything all together. And I think God made us for this purpose. Men get their life ruined because they don't have a brotherhood a brotherhood of like-minded men on the same journey. So I don't know what your life's like right now, but I know this, that there is someone, there's a group of men, they need to be men, they're a group of men that, like I'm giving an example, I'm 44 years old, I love my wife, she's number one, she's everything to me, I love my wife with all my heart, I give her credit for everything. If you are married, you wanna be around me, or you wanna be around other men that are crazy about their wives and that love their wives, that's gonna make you love your wife more. By the way, th those, those wives are also very happy wives that are with me, my wife's ecstatic, she loves life. So when your wife is also, I'm just giving an example with us, she's happy, as hell too because she's around badass women that are happy and love marriage too and they're all on the same goal. That's a brotherhood. Also, I love being a father. I love taking good care of my children. I love being my kid's hero. So does my wife. Financial gain. You talk about like making money and strategies and business and all that. Like you want to be around people that are doing better than you. And I'm not saying financial is everything, but people that are doing big shit. So you guys can also take your family's dreams and fulfill them and make them happy. So you got, you got, you got, you know, maybe your marriage, you got, you know, raising your kids, you got the financial side. What about being physically fit? What about being you know, strong and taking care of yourself? I'm 44, you know, I'm in better shape than most 20 year olds, okay? Just think about this for a minute. I don't care how old you are right now, but you know, make sure that you're packed. A, a, a group of like-minded men would be, if, you're, if it's important for you to be in shape, whether you are in shape right now or not, if you want to get in shape, you find a brotherhood of people who are in shape and then you will also be in shape. Okay, being close to God, okay? Like, like, do you have Christian friends? I'm just saying, like, if, if you're a Christian, like, like, listen, guys, like, I'm a business entrepreneur. I'm also a Christian. I don't do everything right. I love God with all my heart. He's number one in my life. Like, like, like if you're around me, you're gonna find that. We pray. We pray in our morning meetings. You know, we we love God. We we honor Him. We we do everything we can to 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 show love to everyone in this world that we can. And yeah, man. I mean, you know, Jesus flipped the tables over and got pissed off and got mad and do all that stuff. I mean, my point is, is that. Yeah, sometimes, man, you know, when I want someone to change, yeah, I'll get pissed off and be like, come on, man, like, God, I just wanna shake you to death until you, you get it. Like, you got one life, don't take it for granted, man. It's short and you got a lot to do. You're gonna wake up one day and regret it. So number five is they, they don't have a brotherhood, okay? So guys, these are, the, these are the five things that I see commonly ruin men's life. And if you're watching this right now and you've taken these five, and I know that you're looking at yourself and I wrote these down and I know you probably wrote them down too. And you're like, man, dude, I'm not around the right people or I need, I need the right brotherhood. I want you to know I have a brotherhood. I have a brotherhood. And it's like-minded men that I push in business and, and, and getting in ripped and in great shape. The group that I run with is insane. 
I'm building the greatest leaders on planet Earth. And if you would like to be counted in that group as becoming one of the greatest leaders on planet Earth, everything that I know, I wanna teach it all to you. If you align with me and you believe the same way that I believe, there's gonna be, if you go down to the, the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a link and it says Coach with Andy, okay? And I have a brotherhood. And maybe this is what you've needed, is a brotherhood to join. Maybe these things that I'm talking about, you're like, dude, listen, I'm ready to crush this. The old is gone, the new has come. I'm ready to totally recreate. Go down, click that link, okay? Name, phone number, email. It's gonna ask you eight questions. These eight questions, just answer them. Be truthful, answer them right. And when I read these eight questions, if I align with like, yeah, I love that. I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. Guys, I love you. I hope you have an amazing day. I made this video so that you could be great. Guys, God bless, let's kill it. If you need a brotherhood, if you've got one already, good job, go kill it. If you need an edge and you're looking for that right team, that right community, that right brotherhood, maybe it's a right fit with me, okay? So you can go down to the link below, click on that, answer those questions, make sure your phone number's right, your email's right, make sure you spell your full name right. That way if I reach out to you, I know, I know who I'm talking to and I can get a hold of you. Have a blessed day. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.